Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on how to find out the recurrence relation from the given recursive sequence. In the previous video, we have already discussed about how to find out the recursive sequence from the given recurrence relation. But in this video, how to find out the recurrence relation by using the given recursive sequence with the three example problems. Okay. Now, so consider the first problem. So here, this is the given recursive sequence. So given recursive sequence given recursive sequence is equal to 2, 6, 18, 54 and 162 etc. Okay. So each and every term in the given recurrence sequence is denoted by so T1 T2, T3, T4, T5 is the recursive sequence. Is the recursive sequence. Okay. Now comparing this recursive sequence with the given recursive sequence, then T1 is equal to 2. T1 is equal to 2. Next, T2 is equal to 6. Next, T3 is equal to 18. Next, T4 is equal to 54. Next, T5 is equal to 162. Okay. Now, this is the initial term in the sequence or a initial condition in the sequence. So, therefore, initial condition is that is T1 is equal to 2. Okay. Now, we have to find out the next term in the sequence that is T2. T2 can be defined in terms of T1. So, that is equal to T2 can be defined in terms of T1. So, it can be denoted as 3 into T1. Because T2 can be defined in terms of T1. Here, T2 is equal to 6. Okay. So, T2 can be defined in terms of T1. Then, it becomes 3 into T1. Okay. That is equal to T1 value is substituted in this recurrence relation. Then T1 value is 2. 3 into 2 that is equal to 6 we are getting. Okay. So this is the first order recurrence relation. Okay. The next term in the sequence is defined in terms of the previous term. Previous term. T2 previous term is T1. So, T2 depends on T1. So, while you are calculating T2, T2 can be calculated, defined in terms of previous term that is a T1. Okay. So, that is equal to 3 into 2. That is equal to 6 we are getting. Next one. Next term in the sequence that is a T3. Its value is 18. T3 can be defined in terms of previous term that is a T2. So, it can be written as 3 into T2. 3 into T2. So, that is a 3 into T2 value is how much? That is a 6. 3 into 6 that is equal to 18. Next term in the sequence is T4. T4 can be defined in terms of Previous term that is a T3. So that is a T3, T4 value is a 54. 
54 can be written in terms of T3. So that is equal to 3 into T3. 3 into T3 value is 18. So that is equal to 54. Okay. Next term in the sequence that is a T5. So T5 value is 162. T5 can be defined in terms of previous term that is a T4. So that is a 3 into T4. So here 3 into T4 value how much? That is a 54. So that is equal to 162. Okay. So here T5 can be defined in terms of T4. T4 can be defined in terms of T2. T3 can be defined in terms of T2. T2 can be defined in terms of T1. Okay. Next term can be defined in terms of previous term. Okay. So in this way, the next term is uh, Tn can be defined in terms of previous term is T suffix n minus 1. Here 3 is constant. So 3 into T suffix n minus 1. Nth term can be defined in terms of n minus 1th term that is the previous term. Nth term can be defined in terms of previous term. Nth term previous term is n minus 1. Nth term can be defined in terms of previous term that is the T suffix n minus 1. It is multiplied with the 3. Okay. So this is the given, this is the recurrence relation for the given recursive sequence. Okay. Here with initial condition, this is compulsory with the T1 is equal to 2. If the T1 is equal to 2. Now we have to check that whether this result is correct or not. Okay. So first T1 is equal to 2. Next term is T2. So substitute n is equal to 2. So T2 is equal to 3 into T suffix n minus 1. That is 2 minus 1. So that is 3 into T1. 3 into T1. T1 value is 2. 3 into 2 that is a 6. So T2 is equal to 6. Yes, it is correct. Next one T3. T3 can be defined in terms of T2. So T3 is equal to 3 into T suffix 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 that is 2. 3 into T2. T2 value is 6. So 3 into 6 that is equal to 18. T3 is equal to 18. Yes, it is also correct. Next, T4. N is equal to 4 is substituted. T4 is equal to 3 into T suffix 4 minus 1. That is a T3. 3 into T3. T3 value is 18. 3 into 18. So, that is 54. T4 is equal to 54. Next one, T5. T5 is equal to 3 into T suffix 5 minus 1. That is a T4. 3 into T4. T4 value is 54. 3 into 54. That is equal to 162. So yes, this is the final recurrence relation. So this is the final recurrence relation for the given recursive sequence with the initial condition T1 is equal to 2. So this is the answer. Okay. Next, we go for second problem. Okay. So, here, this is the given recur recursive sequence. So, the terms in the given recursive sequence is denoted by T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. Okay. So, compare this recursive sequence with the given recursive sequence. So, then, T1 is equal to 20, T2 is equal to 17, T3 is equal to 14 and T4 is equal to 11 and T5 is equal to 8. T5 is equal to 8. Okay. So, the initial condition is T1. So, initial condition. Initial condition means Initial term in the given recursive sequence that is T1 is equal to 20. 
okay the next term in the sequence that is a t2 so t2 is equal to 17 t2 can be defined in terms of t1 okay so that means t1 minus 3 so that means 20 minus 3 that is equal to 17 okay subtract subtracting value 3 from t1 t2 can be defined in terms of t1 okay so t1 minus 3 t1 value is 20 20 minus 3 that is equal to 17 okay next term in the sequence is t3 t3 is equal to 14 t3 can be defined in terms of t2 because t2 is the previous term for t3 so then t2 minus 3 that is t2 value is 17 17 minus 3 that is 14 okay next one next term in the sequence that is a t4 t4 value is 11 t4 can be defined in terms of previous term that is a t3 so that is a t3 minus 3 that is equal to t3 value is 14 14 minus 3 that is equal to 11 next term in the sequence that is a t5 t5 value is 8 t5 can be defined in terms of t4 okay so t4 minus 3 t4 value is 11 11 minus 3 that is equal to 8 okay t5 can be defined in terms of t4 where t4 can be defined in terms of t3 t3 can be defined in terms of t2 t2 can be defined in terms of t1 so in the same way tn can be defined in terms of tn minus 1 minus 3 with the initial condition with initial condition with the initial condition t1 is equal to 20 so this is the final recurrence relation for the given recursive sequence okay so this is also this is the initial condition t1 is equal to 2 okay next next we go for the third problem third problem so the given recursive sequence is denoted by t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 and t6 etc the given recursive sequence is denoted by t1, t3, t4, t5, t6. Now comparing this sequence with the given recursive sequence, then the values are t1 is equal to 3, t2 is equal to, sorry, t1 is equal to 1, t2 is equal to 3, t3 is equal to 6, t4 is equal to 10, t5 is equal to 15, t6 is equal to 21, etc. Okay, here the initial condition, the initial condition t1 is equal to 1, t1 is equal to 1 next one so next term in the sequence is denoted by t2 because n is equal to 2 so initial condition means n is equal to 1 so now t1 is equal to 1 the next term in the sequence is n is equal to 2 that is a t2 t2 can be defined in terms of t1 so that is is equal to t1 plus 2 t1 plus 2 here t1 value is 1 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 ok next term in the sequence is t3 where n is equal to 3 so t3 is equal to 6 t3 is equal to 6 so it can be defined as 
T3 can be defined in terms of T2. So T2 plus 3. T2 plus 3. So that is equal to T2 value is 3. So 3 plus 3 that is equal to 6. Okay. Next one. Next term in the sequence is T4 where L is equal to 4. T4 is value is how much value T4 value 10. T4 value 10 can be defined in terms of T3. So T3 plus 4. So that is equal to T3 value 6. 6 plus 4 that is equal to 10. Okay. Next term in the sequence that is a T5 where n is equal to 5. So that is a 15. So T5 can be defined in terms of T4. So T4 plus 5. So that is equal to so 10 plus 5. So that is equal to 15. Okay. Next term in the sequence that is n is equal to 6. T6 is equal to 21. T6 can be defined in terms of T5. So T5 plus 6 is equal to, so 15 plus 6, that is equal to 21. Now, the recurrence relation Tn, T sub x n is equal to T sub x n minus 1 plus n. T sub x n minus 1 plus n. So this is the given recurrence relation. T sub x n is equal to T sub x n minus 1 plus n. Here this n value and this n value is the same. Observe that one. So here T2, here n value 2. Here n value 3, here we are 3. Here n value 4, here we are adding 4. Here n value 5, here we are adding 5. Here n value 6, we are adding 6. Next, here T2, here Tn minus 1 is T1. Here T3, T sub x n minus 1, 3 minus 1, that is a T2. Here T4, T sub x n minus 1 is T3. Here T5, T sub x n minus 1 is T4. Here T6, T sub x n minus 1 is T5. So therefore, Tn can be defined in terms of Tn minus 1 plus n with the initial condition, with initial condition T1 is equal to 1. Okay. So, for the given recursive sequence, this is the given recurrence relation with the initial condition T1 is equal to 2. For the given recursive sequence, this is the given recurrence relation with the initial condition T1 is equal to 20. For the given recursive sequence, this is the given recurrence relation with the initial condition T1 is equal to 1. Okay. In this way, we have to find out the uh, recurrence relation for the given uh, recursive sequence. Okay. So, by calculating the uh, recursive formula for the given recursive sequence, so the next term defined in terms of previous term. Previous term in the case of first order recurrence relation. So, this is the first order recurrence relation because the next term can be defined in terms of only one previous term. So hence we can say that it is a first order recurrence relation with only one initial condition. Here the next term can be defined in terms of the only one previous term with the only one initial condition. So this is also a first order recurrence relation. Here also the next term Tn can be defined in terms of T sub x n minus 1 with the initial condition T1 is equal to 1. Okay, all three are first order recurrence relation because the next term in the sequence can be defined in terms of only one previous term with only one initial condition. Okay, so Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Dibbela Srinivasarao. Thank you.